From firebrand to potential peacemaker, a man whose militia once fought American troops and Al-Qaeda in Iraq says he wants a unity government. The Iraqi government must fulfill the legitimate demands of the moderate Sunnis and stop excluding them because they have been marginalized for so long. We also need to rush the formation of a national government with new names and from all backgrounds and not to be based on the usual sectarian quotas. His words are being echoed by others across the political spectrum. The Kurdish regional prime minister, Nechirvan Brazani, says peace can only be achieved through political means. What happened was caused by the marginalization of an important component in the Iraqi community, and that's the Sunni component. The Sunnis in Iraq felt that they were not part of the political process in the country, and what happened two years ago in Fallujah was a legitimate appeal by the people in those areas and the Iraqi government was supposed to answer their demands and find a political solution instead of resorting to violence. But Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki is defiant and he's sticking to his position. He says he's the only man that can lead Iraq out of this crisis. Now, the next big test for him is on July 1st. That's when Parliament meet to discuss the formation of a new government. And that will be a government that Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki will want to control. The call for forming a national emergency government, as they like to call it, is simply an attempt by some in the opposition to launch a coup against our political process in order to destroy it. So the Prime Minister faces pressure at home and internationally. The British and the Americans say that before they can give any more help, Iraq needs a unity government. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.